AMD is getting ready to release its new budget-friendly desktop CPUs. Ryzen 5 7600, Ryzen 7 7700 and Ryzen 9 7900 non-X processors. These are the cheaper and less power-hungry alternatives to the already existing Ryzen 7000 X series that launched back in September. In this video I will tell you everything about the upcoming processors including their specs, prices, performance and release date. But first a quick message from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Let's start with Ryzen 9 7900. All the non-X processors will have the same core count and cache as their X alternatives, but the core clock speeds and power consumption will be lower. 7900 will feature 12 cores, 24 threads and 76 MB of cache. The new CPU will boost up to 5.4 GHz, which is 0.2 GHz lower than 7900X. TDP will be set to 65 watts, which is a huge difference compared to 170 watts on 7900X. Ryzen 7 7700 will feature 8 cores and 16 threads paired with 40 MB of cache. It will boost up to 5.3 GHz, which is just a tiny bit slower compared to 5.4 GHz on 7700X. TDP will be 65 watts, down from 105 watts. I expect Ryzen 5 7600 to become the new budget gamer's favorite. It will get 6 cores and 12 threads with 38 MB of cache. The core clock will boost up to 5.1 GHz, which is not that far from 5.3 GHz currently offered by the 7600X. Additionally, the 7600 will feature a much lower 65 Watt TDP. In terms of prices, the updated lineup should look like this. $429 for Ryzen 9 7900, Ryzen 7 7700 at $329, and Ryzen 5 7600 at $229. Bear in mind that AMD has discounted its Ryzen processors for the duration of the holiday season, but promised that the prices will go back up to the original MSRP that you see on the screen now. But there is a chance that the company will keep the discounted prices permanently. As I mentioned in my previous video, that does make sense if AMD wants to be properly competitive versus Intel 13th gen products. The discounted MSRP would work well even with the arrival of the non-X models at the stated prices. Now let's talk about the performance. Although we don't have any leaked benchmarks, it is not difficult to make a very accurate educated guess about where the new CPUs will land in the performance benchmark charts. Considering that they will be clocked just 1 to 200 MHz lower, we can expect to see the performance decrease of around 2 to 4% compared to their X alternatives. The non-X Ryzen processors are shaping up to be a nice option for those of us who like picking PC parts that offer better value and a lower power consumption with a very small compromise. The launch date is not confirmed. But I believe that AMD will announce the new processors at CES 2023 on January 4th. Additionally, some retailers expect the first shipments of the Ryzen 7000 non-X CPUs in 1 to 3 weeks from now, which backs up my expectations of a January launch. However, these are just expectations, so stay tuned for updates. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.